Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 163. Today I'm talking about the topic. You got to read some stage directions, okay? So if you're an actor and you got to ever go on auditions and you tape sometimes, I need you just to stay tuned. Stay to the end. This is an impromptu, <laughs> an impromptu live. I ain't got no makeup on. Got no hair on, nothing, but I just felt in my spirit I had to come on tonight because I've been reviewing tapes for quite some time for the past couple hours today. So I want to welcome, come on in the room, come on in the room, come on in the room. Hey, Jason. Hey, Anima. Hey, all y'all. Those of you listening on the podcast, the Hollywood Bound Actor Podcast, thank you for listening. So welcome. This is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am Christine Horn. Your coach, your mentor, your guide, professional actress of 20 plus years and life and career coach for actors just like you. And man, you know, to all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, I was just about to log off for work. Got a clock out. My boss is very demanding. She's very demanding. She don't let me clock out crazy hours. But I just wanted to pop on and really just talk about really quick stage directions. And today's theme, this is episode 163. So if you, seriously, if you're an actor and you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Instagram, just click the link in my bio, Facebook bio, just subscribe so you can just binge and catch up and your career will thank you for it. So today I'm talking about stage directions. Now, look, I know I'm going to step on some toes and there will, there will be people who, that is loud. That is loud. Facebook, y'all can hear me, right? Facebook, I have these speakers. Let me turn these speakers down. Um, somebody on Facebook, hey, Neil, hey, Angie Mel, hey, Ramon, can y'all hear me? Okay. Because I have these speakers. I was just recording all this, all this feedback from my clients. Okay, thank you. So listen, I know I'm going to set up some toes, but I'm going to just tell you what works for me. Some of you, it depends on whether you live in New York, Canada, the UK. Atlanta doesn't matter where you work. There will be some some casting directors. Thank you. There will be some casting directors who say, "Do not read the stage directions for your auditions." I know I read for these casting directors all the time, and I get why they say it. I just want to pip you to some game, okay? Put a star in this episode if you can't watch the whole thing, because I just finished reviewing a bunch of tapes for some of my inner circle member uh, clients, and they're awesome. And I've been all just looking at tapes at some of my Booking Magnet Academy members. And this is something I do for my, for my paid clients, okay? And what trips y'all up is because someone said, don't read stage directions, now you're not reading nothing. Or you're reading only your lines, you're not reading the stuff that's crossed off, and you are missing crucial information about not only your character, but the scene. So the reason why casting directors say don't read the stage directions because some actors because you know especially some of my brand new bands and it's okay some of my newer actors you might do too much <laughs> you know maybe you're supposed to get shot or choked or be thrown on the floor there's an explosion like some stuff can trip you up so much they may say you smoking a cigarette and all of a sudden it's the cigarette show like you're not even acting no more you just all about this cigarette about this blunt and it's like what happened to the character so i get why they say don't read the stage directions but i think it's misleading to you and i'm just talking to you actor to actor so can we talk actor to actor i always read the stage directions every single time if it's i don't care if it's crossed out no let me not mess up and pull up a, a recent script let me not do that that's my box of scripts back there here's why Oftentimes, I am reviewing my clients' tapes, and they're missing key elements. I'd be like, why are you standing there when the scene starts? And they don't know. I'd be like, the script clearly says, Jennifer runs in the office frantic, but you started your scene standing still, waiting to say your line. But didn't the script say Janet runs in the scene frantic? So what does that mean for you? It means I need you to run in the scene. That means I need you not to be sitting there. I need you to like get your butt up and be like, oh my God, guys, did you hear what happened? And then who are you talking to in the scene? Like I need you to create the environment 
And some of y'all are playing so scared and you're so worried of messing up that you're not living and you're not creating the character or the environment. If it says you walk in, I need you to take two steps in and walk. Walking trips people up all the time. And y'all, let me, let, me, let me apologize for being amped up. I'm amped up because I care. <laughs> and I'm amped up because when I see the same mistake over and over and over and over again, I know it needs to be addressed. So this isn't anger. It's like, come on, let's get this. Let's win. Because I had no intention of coming on tonight. I mean, look at me. I mean, I'm gorgeous, but you know, my natural state, but I didn't plan on coming on tonight. So let's talk about it. So if it says walk in, that means you take a step one and you step two. Two steps, two steps in and you're walking in. That's a walk in on the scene. One, two. Hey, what's up, man? Now I've walked in. It says you walk down the hallway. Let me tilt this up for y'all on Instagram. It says you walk down the hallway. You know what? I was wondering what happened. Yeah, me too. And then now you've walked. It takes three steps to actually walk, right? <laughs> Jason says, I'm getting scared. <laughs> Don't get scared. I'm pumped up. Jason, you know better. Shout out to my Booking Magnet Academy members. Listen, y'all, if you are not, if you have been wanting to work with me, guess get, how about we get off, off the sidelines? So here's what you, what you can do. If you're brand new, I call you my brand newbians. If you're brand new, don't even know how to get started, look out for me next week because I'm launching, I'm opening the doors to a program that's just for brand new actors, like who don't know how to get an agent, who don't even really know what an agent or manager does, like basic bare bones. So just, I'm going to put y'all to the side for a second. So right now I'm kind of talking to my middle tier actors, those of you who are getting auditions, so for those first few auditions. Maybe you haven't booked that co-star yet and you're trying to figure out why. And I'm here to tell you it's because you're not reading. You're not reading everything. You can't just be like, what's my line? What's next? The casting director put a big X through this stuff at the top. I'm not going to read it. That's the biggest mistake you're ever going to make. It's all clues. Like, this is why I love this game. To me, it's a game. I love playing detective. I used to complain back in the day, man, they don't give me the whole script, man. Now, if I get two pages or six pages, I'm like, all right. You know you didn't give me the whole script, so now I got to make it up. And I, I'm not wrong because I'm making it up. I get to play detective. Every adjective they use to describe your character, every adjective they use to describe what's happening in the scene is a clue for you. And when you do the work, you will stand out. Here's a very elementary tip that I'm gonna give you today before I wrap. This is, quick, this is a quick live. Read the damn pages, read everything. And my biggest tip for you is to put your ego to the side, forget that you're intelligent for a second, go and use Google, use your dictionary. So when I get a script, I have something I just printed out tonight. I know I'm smart, but if it says uh, Sharon is aggressive and, and uh, is always, uh, her, her, her speech is sharp and piercing, I'm making this up. What I would then do is go to Google and type piercing definition. I think I know what piercing means, but I need to see on the screen what Webster's Dictionary says it means. Then I look at the synonyms, other words to describe that. I'm like, oh, quick, sharp with the tongue, boom, boom, boom. So that means I just can't be like, oh, okay. That means that she's quick and sharp. It just affects how I talk, it affects how I move, it affects what I wear. Like, that's why I'm a booking magnet. And this is how you can become one too. But you got to stop, and I'm going to say it real, stop being lazy. We're all busy, right? But do this work. Google, I Google stuff. What, oh, I'm, oh, Marine. I'll Google female Marine. Female uh, Army veteran, of uh, Army medic. Okay, I'll Google that. Flight attendant. Let me Google that. Of course I know what a flight attendant looks like. But I Google it to see it and to get an image and see what's in my closet. How can I recreate this look? So when casting directors say, don't dress in costume, well, you got to put some clothes on. Any, any clothing out that you choose is a costume. So why not wear something that is in alignment with the character that you're about to portray? Are there any questions here about this? 
The stage directions are going to give you the insight that you need to fully craft the character. And right, Tracy says, Google is my friend. Absolutely. This is all insight for your character and for the work. You have to create the surrounding for us. All we are working with is a gray or blue backdrop, right? Now it's your turn to make the, make the atmosphere come to life. So if you walk away with nothing tonight, the next script you get, whether it's one that you get invited to or you go to show facts and download one so you can practice on your, on your own, read everything. And try to find the things like, man, oh, they use that word intentionally. Every character has a, the last name or the first name they have intentionally. Writers work their asses off to create strong, compelling characters in that writing room. That's why when you book something, sometimes there have been many times I booked a gig and maybe it was open ethnicity before I, before I booked it or could have been open gender. But then once I book it, they change the name. And why do you think that is? Because the name speaks volumes. Everything matters. So Christine, how do I stand out? Do the work, be a detective, research, research, research. And this is the fun part. Out of everything, this should not stress you out. This is you getting to create layers. Like that is the beauty of it. I have a series that I recently started called hashtag how did you book it? If you missed that, if you're on Instagram, you can look at my IGTV. I'm going to be putting them there. Facebook, if you're in my Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook community, come on and join us. And you can just see some of the past ones that I've done. So I'm trying to give you a little insight in the stuff that I do. But I don't book the way that I do by not reading stage directions. So I'm talking to you actor to actor. They don't want you to do the extreme but you have to know what's going on, all right? So shout out to all of you. Again, if you're a brand newbie and a brand new actor or aspiring, you're secretly working your nine to five or your five to 10, and you're scared to even share with anybody that burning in your belly, that desire to do this work, look out for it next week because I'm gonna open the doors to the Breakout Star Academy, which is my signature course for brand newbies. Y'all who don't know nothing about nothing, I'll walk you through it but doors will open next week, so stay tuned for that. For the rest of you, good night. And for those of you who are you know, looking to meet me in person, I am coming to Atlanta, Georgia, August 24th to teach at the Bronze Lens Film Festival. They made their announcements today. Congratulations to all the people who are gonna be part of the festival this year. It's their 10 year anniversary. And my Hollywood Bound Actor community has a special discount code. So you wanna be on my mailing list so that you can get that code. And I, this is the stuff that I'm teaching for six hours, six, seven hours. It's going to be epic. Um, so I can't wait to meet all of you in Atlanta for those of you who can make it. All right. Have an amazing night. Thank you for hanging with me. Again, any part of this that you missed, please watch it back. This is Actors Daily Bread, the best online show for actors, if I do say so myself. And again, this is episode 163. So come to my YouTube. I need some more subscribers. You know, show me some love. I would greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Let me end on Facebook first. Bye, everybody.